Hello, dear visitors and subscribers of our YouTube channel. Of course, foreign nationals have the right to register their business in Russia. The options for registering a business were described in the previous video and today let's talk about how a non-resident can register an LLC in Russia. To start the registration of an LLC, it is necessary to come up with a name for the future company. It must be in Russian only, without foreign symbols and letters. The company name in a foreign language, both full and short, can be registered as an additional name. The minimum amount of the authorized capital must be 10,000 rubles and must be paid in rubles only. It cannot be paid in euros, dollars or any other currency. Then you should indicate the location of the organization and its legal address that will be registered. The most suitable solution is to register a firm at the location of the office. This can be a rented premises or one that is owned by the company or its founders. And finally, you need to choose the types of economic activity that the company will carry out as well as choose the taxation system that best suits you. To avoid mistakes, I recommend contacting a specialist who will help you sort out this issue, prepare your incorporation file, submit it for registration to the tax authorities and receive a set of ready-made documents. In fact, the process of registering a legal entity by a foreigner is practically the same as for a citizen of the Russian Federation. But there are some peculiarities in the registration and management of the company that you should pay attention to. In order to become a founder of a Russian LLC, you do not even need to be in Russia. You just need to prepare your personal documents, issue a power of attorney to your representative, which can be an employee of our company, then certify the set of documents at the notary office and at the Russian consulate in your country and send it to our Moscow office for further processing and submission for registration. So it's easy. It is more difficult if you want to act as a director of the company yourself. To do this, you will need to get permission to act as a director of your company. And as I told you in the previous video, you will have to obtain a business visa to Russia, apply to the migration service upon arrival, wait for three weeks and only then sign employment contract with your own company. And there is more to it. Remember that any hiring of a foreigner to a company or his dismissal must be filed in the form of a notification to the Ministry of Internal Affairs by the director of the company or its members. A work permit is not required if you are hiring highly qualified specialists. These are foreign nationals with proven work experience, skills and achievements in a specific professional field which is confirmed by the level of salary in accordance with legislation of Russia. But despite the fact that it is not necessary to obtain a work permit for such workers, you must submit a request to the Ministry of Internal Affairs for the employment of a highly qualified specialist. Yes, such as him for obtaining a permit for a foreigner looks long and may be complicated. In practice, in order to save time for registering a company, it's quite common to appoint a Russian citizen on a position of director and chief accountant when setting up a company. And after obtaining a work permit, the founder appoints himself on managing positions of his company. By the way, you can submit a firm for registration in person or by power of attorney as well as by mail or through a notary. No matter which way you choose to submit the documents, in 5 working days after receiving the documents in the tax office, your company will be registered and you may start to open a bank account that usually takes 1 or 2 weeks in common. Well, that's all for now. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Please ask questions in the comments and contact our team at the comments below. We really appreciate the feedback from you. Good luck to you and your business, and bye-bye!